the next big thing. He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it, if you ask me. All I have to do is defend it tonight, and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. Is this finally happening? We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of The Lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Lock has arrived on Raw. And apparently The Lock is Sammy's mystery challenger. Well, Sammy's big idea is about rechristening his titles. The Sammy Continental Championship could be changing quickly. We've heard The Lock is a future champion, and we might not have to wait long for that to come true. This superstar has made a name for himself all around the world, and if you ask me, he looks like he fits right in here in WWE. Well, I agree. He's got the flashy debut, the pyro and all, but now it's time to see if he can deliver in the ring against a veteran competitor in Sami Zayn. Sami might have the experience edge, but he was caught off guard here tonight. So I'd actually give the advantage to The Lock. You might have a point, Saxton. Sami Zayn looks like he's hesitant to even go through with this match. He's shook. I don't blame him. Can The Lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, the Locks' long-awaited debut is happening right now on Monday Night Raw. And what a way to kick things off as Sami Zayn's challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. There's been a lot of talk about how the Locks going to change the game in WWE, but I'll believe it when I see it. Time to see if he's ready to deliver the goods. And that definitely made solid impact. Neckbreaker! Oh, God! Oh, oh, this is... What's this gonna be? Wheelbarrow! Into a flapjack. Impressive. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Zayn looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, now what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up in the barricade. Get a big boot. And now thrown back into the ring. And the lock has picked up the pace. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sammy. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. He had it scouted. Momentum going back to Zane's corner. Sammy hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. DDT! Oh. Champ's got the pin to retain. The challenger doesn't even allow a one count. Still in it. Answering back. Zane dodges just in time. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Uh-oh.
Oh, look at this. Inverted scoop slam. like that. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. And Locke got turned around there. Getting him into the corner. Zayn able to adapt. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Witching their opponent, and look at these multiple knee strikes. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. He's a projectile now. Oh man, he is fired up now. to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. On the apron, fought back with a punch to the gut. Evading offense. Oh! Squaring off right by our announce table. And he slides him back to the mat. Oof! Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Zane looking helpless to... Here comes Sammy, firing up now and making a comeback. Momentum time! Whoa. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Here we go, your favorite Cole, Ooh. Sammy Zayn, Blue Thunderbomb. Still in it with a quick kick out. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. Looking wobbly in the corner. Championship level move. Cover! Kicked out at one? Even the ref can't believe it. Unbelievable. Kick out at one? Unbelievable. More like inhuman. From the middle rope. Catches nothing but air. Punches to the ear? How are they going to hear after this match? Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, no. Oh, no, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Zayn held close. Ooh -hoo. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Cover! The lock has indeed lived up to the hype by winning the Intercontinental Championship in his WWE debut. What an unbelievable night here on Raw. Not many superstars can say they've captured championship gold their first night on the job. We heard so much about this superstar, how he was the next big thing, a future world champion, and so far I have every reason to believe those are true statements. I'm just glad we won't have to see the Sammy Continental Championship. Me too, Byron. I think we all owe the lock a thank you for that. Hold up, Sami Zayn from behind. Oh, apparently this isn't over. The lock ducks and he nails him. Sami goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? I think the lock's going to lock up Sami. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sami again. Thank you. Now what? He's going to send Sami for a ride. And the safe goes crashing down with Sammy inside. This night just keeps getting better. Once again, your new Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. What a debut. There he is. Ready for your big Raw debut tonight? Yeah.
Can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh. Talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Cat, right? Yep, Cat with a K. K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on a wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of Cat over the next year. Gotta document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion. The Lock. Whoop, whoop. Sorry, fly on a wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole the lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah, but that's not how the WWE universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you, but it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, New gear? <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you, too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> Is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. But things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Guess so. I gotta run. But I promise, this is gonna be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Raw. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. That was a hell of a debut. Thanks, Gabriel. Yeah. <laughs> Call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for ten years. I think whoever's watching will know who I am. <laughs> we probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, Locke. Call me champ. Okay, champ.
That was a good dry run. Now let's do another take without the interruption from the raw welcoming committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. I'm too friendly. I think we got it. I need to go get changed. Hey, champ. Long time no see. You here to cash in on some more tips from a certified locker room vet? Mm -hmm. 
actually, I think I'm good for now. All right. Well, like I said, if you ever need advice, or even if you just forgot your flip-flops for the shower, I'm here for you. Got it. Want to join my book club? I tried to recruit Robert Rude, but he said the only part of a book he likes is the ending. Or, as he called it, the book's finishing move. He said he's got the best ending in WWE, but I thought maybe you could take him on and show him yours? Happy Corbin has been mouthing off about his football career. Wow, look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway. Just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Sure. Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 243 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Shawn Paul. You are looking at some highly motivated competitors in this match, looking to steal the show and capture the attention of the entire WWE Universe. Turn out the lights and close the doors behind you. It's time to lock up. A man who absolutely adores a fight. And his opponent, accompanied by Sami Zayn, representing the Brawling Brutes from the United Kingdom, weighing in at 253 pounds, Ridge Holland. Ridge Holland learned his craft from some of the biggest names in British wrestling, but he now sits under the learning tree of perhaps the best brawler in WWE history.
A man you definitely don't want to start a fight with. After his spectacular debut, the Intercontinental Champion will look to keep his momentum going tonight against Sami Zayn's hand-picked opponent, Ridge Holland. Looks like Ridge Holland has company, though. Sami Zayn has apparently opted to rehab his neck at ringside. Buckle up, folks. The Locks title might not be up for grabs, but his reputation would certainly take a hit if he takes a step backwards here tonight. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Stomp after stomp after stomp. You could feel the resentment building with each stomp there. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. One coming took advantage. Oh, he's lost some of his win now. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Lights out. DDT connects. Lock launching attacks left and right. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Oh, and a stop right to the back. Taste of power there. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Nice snapmare. Ooh, a chop. Boom. The shoulder tackle. He's starting to struggle here. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Crash landing. Big forearm. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh is right. Fall away slam. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. No way. Ah, oh, straight to the floor. A totally ill-advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. Here's a snapmare, followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. He steps foot in the ring again. He takes control. Blinged across the way. Lock quickly moves. Close line. So effective. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Crank in the head. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may too. There is no way this can go on for much longer. What a shoulder block. Yokes up their opponent. Walk slam delivered. Going for the pin. One, two, three, Sammy Zayn just blindsided the lock with his chain. This was all a setup to weaken the Intercontinental Champion before he faces Sammy Zayn. Did Sammy say something about the safe? Could be some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. With the deranged Sami Zayn calling the shots, nothing is off limits. Well, whatever the plan is, Sami looks to be maneuvering the lock toward the stage. And the lock's helpless after taking that blow from his own chain. And there it is. Ridge Holland has brought out the lock safe. What the heck is their plan? 
Belly to belly suplex on the unforgiving stage. Now what are they gonna do? Is Sami Zayn trying to tip the safe over on top of the lock? Those things weigh like a thousand pounds. This is way worse than what the lock did to Sami. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. I don't think I can watch this. Gabriel Slade is here. Thankfully, he's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sami and Ridge want no part of him. Oh, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself, or Gabriel Slade, or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet and not getting peeled off the stage. Hey, you okay? It was almost really bad. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pounds safe. I respect you wanting to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not gonna cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. Do you... Want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week. The man destined to be top dog, it's The Lock. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 243 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sean Paul. The Lock might want to change his name to The Luck because that's what he's going to need if he wants to live up to this insane hype. I don't know. The Luck just doesn't have the same ring to it. It's one of the most seasoned superstars in WWE, Gabriel Slade. And his partner from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 220 pounds. 
Gabriel Slade. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Well, here comes the Masters. It's been a non-stop thrill ride ever since the Intercontinental Champion stepped foot in WWE, and there's no reason to think it'll stop tonight as The Lock and Gabriel Slade take on Sami Zayn and Ridge Holland. The Lock locked horns with Sami Zayn on his first night in WWE and can't seem to shake Sami loose. Locked horns, huh? You need to unlock some new vocabulary, and The Lock and Gabriel Slade need to get on the same page fast if they're gonna have a chance against two of WWE's most talented superstars. Look at this, just what a barrage of stops. Oh man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Into the corner, this can't be good. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage. Basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Gut wrench suplex. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Oh, I had that well scouted. Hoist it up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Tag made. Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Fisherman suplex, nicely done. Full Nelson. Dragon suplex. He's been placed in the corner now. Stop to the knee. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. No, no. My God. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. This match grinded him down a little. <laughs> oh, and a bionic <laughs> elbow. Double axe handle. He's one step ahead there. Muay Thai clinch. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Holland able to counter. Shot block. Setting up. All the way out. Suplex. Oh, the lock gets caught with a counter. Big chop block. That'll stop me in your tracks. Smart strategy attacked the knee. Compromised position here. Oh, that's how you. He's got him down. Is this it? And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He is still very much in this. Great counter. One response after another, back and forth we go. Ooh! You can't prepare your face for that. Scoop slam from behind, boom! their way out of that one. Hip toss! 
He's taken, makes the cover. The pin doesn't even last to a count of one. Not enough pressure on the pin. Boom! Oh, my. Ooh. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Neck breaker. Ouch. Just rake in the face. Face rake. This is nasty. Sent into the corner. Oh, right to the gut. Man, oh, man. Fisherman suplex. Incredible. He keeps his team in the match. to the midsection. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Oh my God! Got the full Nelson. Slam! I am not liking Ridge's odds here. And there's the cover! And teamwork makes the dream work in this tag team victory. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys. So, these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So, a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half-ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies. Okay, let's not get hung up on semantics. Nonetheless, Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your Intercontinental Championship. Is there any merit to Sami's complaints? I know I'm new here, but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything. That's true. I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired. Really? Oh, okay, that was me. But you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Both Sammy and I have been knocked down the last few weeks, but now we're going to find out who's the last man standing. Nice! Really felt the passion there. Take a good look at the new face of WWE. It's the lock. The following contest is a last man standing match. And is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the champion from Miami, Florida, Weighing in at 243 pounds, Sean Paul. So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that.
Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. What an atmosphere for the Locks Premium Live Event debut. And what a matchup as the Intercontinental Champion defends his title against his biggest nemesis in WWE, Sami Zayn. Biggest nemesis in WWE? Who's the Locks' second biggest nemesis? Give me a break, Cole. The guy just got here like 10 minutes ago. Well, he's already made more of a mark in the ring in 10 minutes than you did in 10 years, Corey. And I expect him to make a few extra marks on Sami tonight. to the gut and, ooh, brutal forearm. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Yeah, Cole, but in this match, he's gonna take a lot of damage. As long as he gets back to his feet, he's okay. And some effective offense with that one. Punishing their opponent. Oh, my goodness. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. What a shoulder block. Zayn looking helpless to every attack. A killer instinct from the lock is shining through. Uh-oh. He reverses it. And that might be the start of the momentum swing that Sammy needed. Sammy hoping to start a rush of his own with that attack. Locked in. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage in the process. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Oh, just elbow drop after elbow drop after elbow drop. Punishing their opponent. Here's the snapmare. Followed by the knee drop. That'll fracture an orbital. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, but all that matters is being able to stay on your feet. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Boom, what a punch. Short jab. It's raining down those shots to the back of the neck. That's just a beat down. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. And Locke is really putting the pressure on. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sammy. Boom! Oh, oh. Ouch. Punches to the ear? How are they gonna hear after this match? Oof! Ooh! Sidewalk slam. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. <laughs> Nicely done, snap suplex. So quick. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. The lock isn't holding anything back. That's seven, we may be getting to the end. This match ain't over yet. Well scattered reversal. Sami Zayn, such a unique character, such a unique skill set. Look at him go! Sami on the verge of victory here. Come on, this is just too much. I agree. The ref had already started to count. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. Oh, my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Uh, 
He's ejected from the ring. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Uh-oh. Half and half suplex. Lights out. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. Oh, ouch. Oh, my God. Oh, a strong impact. Oh, God. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. Got the arm into the hammerlock. DDT! Looks like the champ is going to retain. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Referee's count has reached seven here. Getting dangerously close to the inevitable. And The Rock can still hold the title above the competition. And still, WWE Intercontinental Champion, Shawn Paul. A big win and the celebration has begun. Sami Zayn just suffered another miscarriage of justice. Oh, that's a shame. You're usually much happier to be in catering. What's on your mind? Can't get anything by you. I actually need to ask a pretty big favor. 
Lay it on me, partner. Easy on the partner talk, okay? Apparently, I still have a tag match left on my old PWJ contract. Will you make the trip over and team up with me? Trust me, I really didn't want to ask. You really know how to make a guy feel wanted. Nothing personal. I'm just not too big on asking for help. I get it, and I got you. I'm in. This is where you say thanks. Right. I'll see you over there.
The Lock is facing one of his stiffest title defenses yet against the red-hot Rick Boogs. Boogs' new tour manager, Liv Morgan, will be looking to add to their recent momentum by adding intercontinental gold to their gold records. Good one, Saxton. I don't know about you, but I've heard Liv and Boogs are more than just co-workers. I guess you'd know about that sort of thing, wouldn't you, Corey? Another good one. Hilarious. Incredible power slam. Hold on, why is Dewdrop getting involved in this? Uh, she either had second thoughts or someone hit a wrong button. Either's possible around here. Staved off that attack. Uh-oh. Look at this! Uh-oh is right. Fall away slam! I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And now Boogs is getting beaten down. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Look out! What a crossbody! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Off the barricade! Oh, no, what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up on the barricade! In a big boot! The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Toss back into the ring. <laughs> Knew what was coming there. Rick doing what he can to halter the beatdown. He's open to start a rush of his own with that attack. He went right into that turnbuckle. Ooh. Wow, what a close line in the corner. <laughs> oh boy, he's stalking him, watching for an opening. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Spear into the corner. And look out, belly to belly. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's... It's that time in the match where we all take a trip on the Boogs Cruise. The title might change hands. Able to get that shoulder up so quickly. What a statement. I've lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. Slam. Could be seconds away from seeing Boogs fall. Got the full Nelson. Slam! I think the champ's got it. The cover! A kick out by the challenger, keeping the championship dream alive. I don't believe it. How did the challenger survive that? By the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on him now. Just dished out his most devastating offense. And you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time will be the charm. Fires back with a crucial L. A bear hug. Squeezing the breath out of him. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this thing. I don't want to see him tap out. Not like this. He's risking permanent damage.
He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Sidewalk slam. Lock formulating a move. Ow! The title's going nowhere. Kiss your dreams. Good night. He stays alive. He stays alive. Somehow, this title is still up for grabs. Now might be a good time to regroup. Rethink your plan. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. Boogs has run into a roadblock. And gets tossed back into the mat. Wheel barrel. Flop jack. Face first. Oh, the knee takes a big hit. Boogs was being tested, but finally got some offense of his own in. Whoa, not quite yet. Rick Boogs out of harm's way. A oh, bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. Bear hug. Well placed elbow. We'll get you out of it. That might be enough. Yes, it is. Down across the neck. Momentum is slipping away from Boogs. The lock isn't holding anything back. Taking flight. That one. Now a pin for the championship. He kicks out before the count starts. Where in the world does one find such strength at this stage to kick out that early in the count? Oh, that didn't go as Locke designed. There's some power behind that punch. Oh, timely counter by Locke. Retains. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Sean Paul. Wrestle perhaps the perfect match, never any doubt in this win. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. I'm so sorry. I don't know why my music hit during your match. So weird. Oh, good. It didn't really affect the outcome. Really? Boogs didn't even notice? I thought that would get his attention. <laughs> Not that I want it. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. You've got a little thing for Boogs, huh? Well... He is extremely handsome. And who knows, maybe someday we could make a little boo drop. I honestly don't know how to respond to that, other than to remind you that Liv Morgan is more than just Boogs' manager, if you know what I mean. Well, that's also sort of why I'm here. I heard a rumor that Liv has actually been talking about moving on to you. Are you interested at all? Yeah, I don't really know her, but maybe. Well, I think you should grant Boogs a rematch and I'll be your manager. Let me work my matchmaking magic from ringside. What do you say? Uh, manager's not really my style, sorry. But good luck making a gumdrop or a little booger or whatever.
Well, this is familiar, isn't it? It's the Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, defending his title against Rick Boogs one more time on Raw. You'd think Boogs and Liv Morgan, of all people, would have had a better handle on the music last week. I guess technical problems happen to the best of us. Sweet. Oh, bam. And he's just in reach of the ropes and gets it to force the break. The ropes become a competitor's best friend in desperate moments like that one. Just breaking down the opponent. And able to beat Boots to the punch. Into a neck breaker. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Ooh. Wow, what a close line in the corner. This again. Never mind. It looks like Dewdrop actually showed up this time. And she's distracting the Intercontinental Champ. Enable the counter. Sleeper slam. see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. And that was a precisely measured attack. And the Locks maintaining the advantage now. Yeah, Boogs is in desperate need of an opening. He's lining him up. What a shoulder block. Stop gloating and put your attention... Not allowing that to go on any longer. And right between the shoulder blades. Oh, the lot manages to counter. Nicely done. The inverted scoop slam. All the way up, sidewalk slam delivered. Cover, two. No, stops the count at two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. On the apron, all the way to the outside. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Hooked up. Driven down. Looking for the victory. Two. Got it, and the champ adds to their legacy. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Shawn Paul. What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation.
Did you have anything to do with Dewdrop's deranged lies about me? So, I take it you don't have a huge crush on me? Nope. But I am down to team up with you to rearrange Dewdrop's lying face. Yeah, that makes two of us. It's musical chair madness here on Raw as allegiances have been upended and new partnerships formed on the fly. That's right, Michael. The Intercontinental Champion has teamed up with the unlikeliest of allies, Liv Morgan, to take on Rick Boogs and his new boo, Dewdrop. Please don't start calling them. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Boo Drop. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh my gosh! Uh oh. We got a cover. And she stops the count. She just might have more malicious intentions in mind. Uh, sit out, Matt Slam. Connecting on the DDT. Caught with the Lariat. What a leg drop across the rope. Just turn that around. Northern Lights! Referee in position. She's trying to drain some energy with that early cover. Getting set up for something in the corner. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. Payne must be shooting through that leg now. What a headbutt. Vicious. Dentist. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. She's starting to look concerned. A lot of energy left. Fresh partner to tag. She's in about as good a position as you can hope to be still. Oh, solid form. Oh, two drop answers back. What a headbutt. Vicious. Ooh. Able to get out of the way. Caught for the DDT. Across the top rope. Ooh, what a hot shot. Hard impact in the corner. Hit drop. I've been waiting to see that. Uh oh, look out. Dewdrop really got caught by some well-timed, well-placed offense there. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Oh, some flyer. And now he rolls out looking for a timeout. You don't get any timeouts in a fight. That's just running away. Drop kick. Beautiful. Double stop. And that was an effective attack, guys. Stop after stop after stop. Here's the snapmare. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Back straight into the post on the outside. Look at this straight. Big power slam. Oh, on the apron. Let 
lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. He got whipped into that corner. Uh oh, look out. Competitors digging into wells they didn't even know existed. Hooked up. Springboard. And we just saw some serious offense. Lives fully intent on ending things here. A jumping complete shot. Face first. Well, this spells trouble for Cover. some reason. She lets it go. She might have something else planned here. Oh, Matt slam with some attitude. Morgan on the receiving end. She's got her cinched in. Liv got out of the way. Boom! Slam with authority. Morgan showing no fear up there. From the top. Great awareness as she proves to be too quick. Scouted it and fired back with a punch straight to the face. That'll hurt. DDT. Gonna take a trip, gentlemen. Straight down to the... For the two on one face breaker. She's pushed into the corner. Ah, oh, in tandem, in stereo. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Oh. The ref not even getting a one. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Nice snapmare. Ooh, a chop. Boom. Boog's left an opening. Oh, man. Is it the finishing touch Locke needs? It's almost down. Oh, that was close. This match continues. Shoulders down. Cover. Shoulders up before two. He's still got more left in the tank. Incoming. Crash landing. Powerbomb. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh is right. Fall away slam. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. He deflects it right back. Fought off with an elbow. Put into the corner now. Tandem offense coming up. Didn't see it coming. DDT. And she is sustaining a real focus above the shoulders. Attacks in that area quickly for opponent in a daze. Range down an elbow. A jumping complete shot. Face first. Can Morgan clinch this one? their case for one of the best teams around with that win.
Yeah, as odd of a couple as they have seemed to be coming into this match, they simply gelled in a way that it seemed their competition simply could not. Kind of like us, guys. I actually prefer to think of our dynamic more like a two-on-one handicap match against you, Saxton. Hey champ, I've been meaning to talk to you about a potential big opportunity. Is now a good time? Yeah, sure. What's going on? So far, you've been living up to the office's expectations, but now it's time for a big test. We want the lock to headline a live event for the first time, defending the Intercontinental Championship. A live event? I'm not sure that's a big test. Let me finish. The live events in one of our top markets, LA. But well, there's always a lot of competition for the WWE Universe's entertainment dollar. It takes a big name talent to put butts and seats there. You know, like when I main evented WrestleMania 12. Wasn't that in Anaheim? Technically not LA. Nothing gets by you. Anyway, if you can sell out a major arena in LA, you can do it anywhere, even Anaheim. So what do you think? I think I'm more than ready. Let's make it happen. Great. We thought we'd let you choose who you want a main event against. Sami Zayn, Ridge Holland, Austin Theory. We can just promote your appearance without an opponent. I'm confident I can sell out the event on my own. No need to announce an opponent. The WWE Universe will pay to see me beat anyone. Bold decision. I guess we'll find out. So, big live event coming up. Do you feel extra pressure knowing that same night The Rock will be in LA promoting the premiere of his new movie, Mudslide? I don't know why they didn't call it Rock Slide. It was right there. That's news to me. And to be honest, that does raise the stakes a bit. The Rock's a huge deal, obviously. But I think there's room for both of us to succeed that night. Or at least I hope so. I should mention that it's not just a typical movie premiere. Rock's giving away a hundred brand new pickup trucks, and anyone who attends is eligible to win. I heard fans were lining up weeks in advance. Look, it's gonna be fine, okay? When the bell rings for my match, those seats will be full. Got it. Oh, and just a heads up, I might be a little late to the show on account of the fact I need to cover a friend's shift waiting in line for a truck at Rock's premiere. But I'll try my best to catch your match, too. <laughs> Got it. Thanks.
Intercontinental Chip. So, how'd it go out there? The match went fine, but in case you didn't notice, the arena was only half full. So, not great. What do you chalk that up to? I thought I could sell out the show on my own, but maybe I got overconfident and bought into all this lock hype. Or maybe it's just tough to compete with The Rock giving out free trucks. Who knows? You wanted to talk, right? What's up? I've been thinking back on my own career lately, and I realized a lot of my success can be credited to the factions I was a part of, both off-screen and on. Just like you, I was strong-willed and independent. But in WWE, you often find yourself needing backup. The other members of the Click and DX also puts each other to be better. What are you getting at? Two prominent superstars have approached management with the idea of building a faction around you, and the brass thinks it's a good idea. Is this because of the LA Live event? It's not about what happened in LA. I was set up to fail with the whole rock publicity stunt happening the same night. You're lucky the building was half full. Sure, whatever. 
But this faction stuff has nothing to do with that. It's all about accelerating your rise to the top. And I think it says a lot that a couple of heavy hitters came to us wanting to build something around you. So I'll say it again. You just need to play ball here and trust the process. Okay, but if I do this, I see it as a good opportunity to freshen up my look. So no more lock gear, okay? If that's what it takes to get this done, then fine. Okay, then I'm on board. So who approached you about this? What are my options? The two superstars who want to recruit you are MVP and Randy Orton. Go talk to them, hear what they have to say, and decide what's best for your career. Intercontinental Champion, The Lock. It's a pleasure, man. I've enjoyed watching you tear it up so far on Raw. And they weren't wrong with all that hype, which is why I wanted to talk to you. I'm relaunching the Hurt Business, and I want you to be the centerpiece, the new CEO. So you're telling me all the faction's efforts would be focused on me? I like the sound of that. Exactly. And look at what I did for Bobby Lashley. I helped elevate him to become the almighty WWE Champion. And I could do the same thing for you, but faster. Since, let's be honest, Bobby was a bit of a rehabilitation project. But you, you're ready for prime time. So, who else do you have in mind for the group? I'm reviewing a lot of top candidates, but don't worry about that. No matter who else joins, the lock is going to be the guy, the focus of the group. Every decision the Hurt Business makes will be to further your individual success first. That all sounds good. Assuming you're not just saying all this to get me on board. I'm not. Trust me. I see big things in you. So what do you think? You ready to make the best decision of your life? You sold me. I'm ready to join the Hurt Business. All right, let's go. Now, like I said, you have all the tools and you're ready for prime time. But I think with some extra work, I can get you to a whole other level. Just like I helped Bobby Lashley become the almighty. Meet me at the Performance Center tomorrow and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Sounds good. See you then.
Joining Hurt Business feels like a major milestone in my career. Holding the Intercontinental Championship has been huge, but this seems like it could be the start of something bigger. You think this will be any different, though, than the previous Hurt Business that ultimately fell apart? I know MVP can sometimes say one thing and do another. He talks a big game. So I'm going to keep my guard up but I'm hoping he means everything he said. Would it be safer to just rely on myself? Yeah, but I'm trying to trust the process. Any clue who else will be joining this new Hurt business? MVP said he's still looking for the ideal third member to complement my skills. I guess we'll find out who that is soon enough. Well, someone is arriving in style. Any idea who this could be? Not sure. As far as I know, all the VIPs are already here. We heard rumors that MVP was reforming the Hurt business. And this must be it. But who else is in the limo? It's the lock. What a crew MVP has assembled. MVP might have done the legwork, but it looks like The Lock is calling the shots as the new CEO. The Hurt Business is back and stronger than ever. We got people talking, but now I want to put all of WWE on notice. Let them know the Hurt Business runs this show. And the best way to do that is by building up our assets, AKA acquiring more championships. You think I'm ready to go after the WWE title? I do, but let's build up to that. I've used my influence to get us a match for the Street Profits Raw Tag Team Championships. So we just need to beat the Street Profits? Easy. I like your confidence, but it's not just the Street Profits. It's a triple threat match with them and the team of Theory and Damian Priest from Orton's new version of Evolution. <laughs> Apparently everyone's doing reboots these days. Imitation is admiration. But enough about them. I've decided you two will represent the Hurt Business in the tag title match. That's why I recruited you in the first place, to win these types of high-stakes matches. And I know you'll deliver. You want us to acquire more championships? Well, after this match, I'll be holding two. We got this. The Street Profits will defend the Raw Tag Team titles here tonight against Damian Priest and Theory and the brand new team of The Lock and Gabriel Slade. The Lock may have a new look and an abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your He gets there. A few seconds longer in this match would have been over. Lands the knee. All the way over. Oh, fuck it. Gosh, landing face first. Yeah, what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much? 
much force. Neck breaker. Oh, loving blow. And a well executed move we just saw there. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Kick right to the midsection. He saw that one coming. Uh -oh. And he got in there. I thought that was it. You and me both. Stop after stop after stop. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. On the top. Left by the turnbuckles. Whoa, leaping through the air. Oh, here's the pin title. It's locked in. This is a he breaks up the hole. He's channeling the crowd's energy. Oh, stiff punch. That was abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear it on your opponent. Oh, this should have been over. But he breaks the hole. Oh, look at this here, guys. Look at this. And did you hear the impact of that? Slam down. Turned that one around. This might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, man, right to the esophagus. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Boom! Lock able to get out of the way. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. This match is spilled out to the ringside area. And as we can see, tension's really running high now. Oh, uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Now that's what you call impact. Bang! Able to avoid any harm there. And that was a well-executed attack. The challenger eating up some damage. Here's the snapmare. Followed by a knee drop. A fracture in order. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Down, what a gourd buster. Damian Priest showing no fear, no intimidation. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact! But did you guys just see the distance traveled on that toss? Oh, oh leg lariat. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh my God! We're gonna have a new champion. Well delivered suplex. And he gets the shoulder up before two. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Oh man! Oh, the big boot. Suplex. Vicious right forearm. Oh, a wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, what a boot to the face! Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Booting boot! You have to think Priest is feeling confident to be taunting like this. He's returning fire! And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. And there was some force on that move. Uh-oh. That holds back Theory's attack. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And what a maneuver we just saw there. A rope step to make on Hilo! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal... Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great... He breaks it up. I don't know how much longer his partner could have lasted. Side headlock applied. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, man. Rock down with a neck breaker. Gabriel has got the target acquired. What a barrage of stops. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Oh, we got to see it! With the Slade Runner. Going to see a new champ with a championship on the line. Oh, and quick resiliency from the challenger. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. And that was an effective attack, guys. The challenger is not in a great place. And some effective offense with that one. Followed by the knee drop. Oh, fracture. And that was an efficient.
efficient display of offense with that maneuver. A uh, single leg takedown. And the rib save him there. Theory locked up. The Hurt Business looking to capture tag team gold. Damian Priest says otherwise. The CEO of the Hurt Business is doing everything in his power to counter. Priest nails the crucifix power bomb. Evolution looks to walk out as champions. Montez Ford with the frog splash out of nowhere. Everyone is laying it on the line. Spear from Dawkins. And after all that chaos, the Street Profits retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot.